<laughs> What's up, gamers? It's your boy, Chonkers here again, wearing the meat neck. Today, we're going to be playing Space Engineers. Hooray! We are going to design and build a space bus. But not just any space bus. A space bus that can fly from the ground and all the way up into space. And uh, probably land in a ship. Uh, the design is actually going to be super simple. It's going to go for more of a, you know, fit as many people as it can inside to transport this many people uh, to another ship. It's got to have good defense, um, good mobility, but it doesn't need a good offense. It's not too upfront with the combat. It should, it doesn't need to be. It doesn't need to have the combat ability like other fighters. So we're in our drawing program, Krita. Yes, it's a great drawing program. I love it. What we're going to do is we're going to start out with something very simple. I'm going to get my uh, mirror tool and we're just going to basically sketch out the walking space of our ship uh, just to get an idea of how big we want it, how, how many seats, what's going to be the floor arrangement or whatever. Uh, it's going to be one floor, the cab being in front cargo slash personnel carrying area in the midsection and then uh the doors to the left and right of the ship and then in the very back will be uh engines uh munitions like actual cargo space and all that so let's get into it I forgot to fucking press record. <laughs> like I was saying, I was thinking that uh, this section right here could be disconnected and reconnected with different components or different uh, modules. It's going to be like a module of transport. So it can either carry people or it can carry like legit cargo containers. So we'll see once we get into it. Uh, also, if you notice, I have these little arrows. This just means that um, this is going to be a higher level than this m midsection right here. So um, that's going to be reflected in the build. All right, so uh, let's get right into it. All right, so this is what I've gotten so far. Um, as you can see, we have, uh, it's all colored in and we've got the front view and the side view. It's yellow, cause we're, it's a bus. Essentially we're going for like a bus kind of uh, style. I really want to attempt to make this area in the middle modular. So we'll see what we can do here. And these are just ideas of landing gear. That's not going to be the final product. Just, I wanted to see what would work. Um, uh, some important thing to note is we just wanted to get a layout of where everything's going to be. Um, I was going to do like a components draw out, but I have a good idea of how components fit into ships. So you kind of just want to make a design first and then go from there. Because if you have an idea of what your ship's going to look like, you kind of just fit components and blend the components and what your ship's going to look like in the end product. I don't know if that makes sense, but you'll kind of see. Like, you start with your ship and an idea, and if blocks don't fit a certain way, you kind of just make them melt together, if that makes sense. But essentially, we're going to keep the engines in these areas, and we're going to try and hide all of them. We're going to have this section down here at the very back is the battery room. This is going to be the modular area, so... It should be able to fit anything that we want. And right here is going to be the cab, obviously. So let's hop on to Space Engineers and start the build. 
Uh, don't mind this. This is just uh, a new basilisk design. All right, so here we are in Space Engineers. We've, we've loaded up a world. And what we're going to do is build out the rough dimensions of what we want our ship to be. So like our drawing, I like to start with our um, essentially the walking space. And um, this is like this is like basically 50 blocks or whatever. And I don't think uh, it might be that long. Because if we need, if we want space to walk around and space to uh, uh, sit, it's gonna, it's gotta be pretty big. So let's just get an appropriate color. That looks good. All right, so yeah, we're gonna start this, and I will be back. Okay, here we are and we've uh we I base I did it. I finished it. My space bus. So, uh some things that I added that I didn't have on my drawing are obviously this little fancy radar. So, I actually have the real antenna right there, but um I always have to do <laughs> I always have to go above and beyond and I uh made this little kind of spinning radar as if it has like extra communications for a longer distance when it travels. Um, I added these little slants and I could have just used like regular blocks, but instead I decided to use like hinges to make it slanted. But it does have like this little gapped feeling. Originally I was gonna have like uh, two arms that kind of like, like bend and grab like it could uh, technically grab tanks or or anything, but this isn't really a cargo hauler. It's more it's more meant for shuttle purposes in terms of like transportation of people or goods. All right, if we go to the inside, the only way inside is actually through the middle chamber area. Um, if this isn't here, then obviously you can just walk into the cab or walk into the back. But if we come into here, we can close the door and we are greeted with this like four doored area. There's one there, open up here, and you can see that we have lines and rows of uh, seats. And uh, honestly, what you could do is just copy and paste this little uh, area, this like passenger area, replace all the seats with cargo containers, and then you have your very own uh, portable cargo container or you can change this into a, like a small refinery or a survival uh, kit area. Oh wait, you can't have refineries on, you can't have refineries on small ships. No, you can't. Anyways, you can have something, something. In there. So if we come to the front, there's this little gap that you'll walk, walk over. It's kind of glitchy, but oh, that's not what I meant to do. Close that up and then we're in the cab and it's got an um, Impressive view if you're in first person. Look at that. Yeah, it's not one area here that you can't see. Obviously, you can't see under you, but um, again, in Space Engineers, you got third person. Doesn't really matter. And I was gonna build my own turret on the top, but I wanted it all hooked up and it started getting a little too big, so I just decided uh, to just place this turret. Maybe, maybe in the future, I might make a. Uh, uh, automated turret on the top but uh for now that's all i would just put that in place because turret's not that important don't really need it there but in terms of speed and everything it's great it's got all the hydrogen and, and ion that it needs the one thing that i haven't tested yet is if it can go on planets so we will do that right now so here we are at the tundari outpost and it was recently attacked and raided um so we're gonna have to do some major repairs on it. As you can see, it's been all blasted here. Had a full frontal assault. The Tandarians took a pretty heavy hit. So, all right, so here it is. This is to see if it can actually stay afloat. Oh, hell yeah. No problem at all. And as you can tell, it is a massive small ship. So, uh, 
but I think that's cool. You can really put a lot of detail into uh, your small ships and uh, make them as detailed as possible. So I really like that. I think this looks amazing. Something also the shuttle has, and it is uh, quite necessary, especially when landing on planets, is it has landing gear that fold out. So another thing that we can do is we can actually detach the merge block from the actual shuttle itself. So we can just turn that off, then we can disengage, and we can start to fly up, pull in our landing gear, and we can now fly away. In terms of flight on the planet, it flies pretty, pretty all right. But uh, yeah, that's my little tutorial on uh, how to make your own little shuttle. I think the important thing is, is to be able to incorporate uh, every different kind of thruster on your design. Um, I know you can make it solely out of hydrogen and it should be able to break atmosphere, fly in space, perfectly fine. But I like to have a mix of everything. That way, you know, you don't have to heavily rely on one resource. Uh, for instance, you could um, have ion and then totally shut off your hydrogen thrusters for only when you need to use it. Um, I do that with all of my ships. I like to keep it uh, balanced in terms of uh, thrusters, but uh, uh, obviously you can totally make a, a ship with one kind of thruster. So, but yeah, that's how I like to make my shuttles. And I think an important thing to keep in mind is uh, remember that your drawing won't be an exact match to your creation and that's fine it's totally fine you can have little bits of details as you can tell i added a turret added a radar dish yeah and i think it looks uh i think it looks great honestly i it couldn't i couldn't be happier so but that's all for this video if you enjoyed please consider leaving a like and if you are subscribed comment down below your name subscriber wall right here that's for you boys and girls we don't discriminate and or seals and, and that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next stay healthy stay thick talkers out